everybody. Um, sorry we're a little late on this. Uh, we usually do this every Friday, but um, uh, our NORCAM weekly episode is now on this Monday because we were actually uh, working pretty diligently trying to get uh, the camera set up uh, to go live from the distance learning lab in the um, school building. Uh, so, oh, hey, I'm Phil Healy, your public access coordinator, and uh, with me as always is... Jason Smith, government access coordinator. And yeah, we're here bringing you NORCAM Weekly, which, for lack of a better term, it's pretty much our weekly podcast yeah. on our new, newly established podcast network, which is uh, NORCAST. And we're always looking for new uh, people to get involved, either in our, with our video equipment, multimedia equipment. I mean, as a public access station, mm-hmm. we're here like a library to show you how to use all sorts of things, how to, you know... Uh, use and edit video, and how to make a podcast and put that on our network. So we're looking for people to talk about literally anything they <laughs> want to talk about. So I mean, Jason, give, what do you think? One thing is lacking. What do you think? Would uh, what From, podcast idea? What do you think we could throw uh, out there to them? Anything sports? Like sports is so easy. Who can't talk about sports? Oh, it's true. Add on as an ad nauseum, but anything. Uh, you know, basket weaving. Um. Basket weaving is something lacking here at Norcast. <laughs> but no, you're right. Like sports, like uh, oh, go on. I didn't mean no, that. No, no. Yeah, please. No, go keep going. <laughs> what are we, more basket weaving? What else? Basket we got? weaving, fishing. Uh, I'm gonna keep. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Hmm. What else? I don't know. I, no, anything, fishing, fishing, cooking. Well, anything. Yeah, and anything like local sports too, because we don't get. We actually don't get a lot of. Recently, we've gotten a couple uh, local sports programs. Oh, you're going to write down something? No, no, no. Oh, I thought no, I'm like, no. oh, that's a good idea. That's right. <laughs> we feed each other like little notes. They're just like little, little stick figures of people killing each other. It's like, oh, this isn't helping, but it's sure is fun. Uh, but, you know, any local sports. We have um, some basketball games I've gotten that I've recycled for the past like couple months, mm-hmm. and I feel bad, but it's like, oh, that's the only basketball we have. Yeah. And technically, like NBA playoffs are still going on, so as soon as the playoffs are done, I'll take it off. But uh, we have some a track meet. Mm-hmm. Someone brought in, and we have. I think that's it. No one ever. No one really no. covers a lot of sports. Sad. We have little spinners games coming hopefully. up, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we had that June. So I'm oh yeah, that's by right. Mid summer. Yeah, we had actually by the end of last summer, like August, yeah. we were playing it, right? Yeah, or July, got, August. Yeah, we got like a backload of them just because we established contact with. Uh, a Chelmsford. I think it's Chelmsford. Yeah, because them and Lowell, they yeah. do they cover like the little spinners yeah, game, yeah, yeah. and it was pretty awesome. And that was a good a good get from Jason to like, hey, let's get the spinners games. Oh, we also love Boston Derby games, yeah. which I play, which are more regular and more uh, more frequent, which is pretty good. And they're at the Wilmington Civic Center, I believe that's what it's called. And they also play in Cambridge too. But um, yeah, they go back and forth. But yeah, so anything you want to do, yeah. politics, yeah, of recent elections, yeah, uh, nature around here, like anything about the seasons, anything, anything going on. We're actually. And if you want to come on the show, let us know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a short show. Uh, you wouldn't know it by my preamble here, but usually it's a short show where we go over stuff going on with us, Norcam, within the town and you know within our organization, like what are we up to. Yep. Like one of the things we can talk about right now is uh, what we're up to on Thursday. Yeah, yeah, Thursday was cool. Uh, was it Dedham, Dedham? How would you? Uh, Dedham, I think, Dedham. Dedham. Uh, we went to, what the, what's the exact name? The Holiday Inn? A, no, oh, no, 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 Integrated the, Solutions. Integrated Solutions, yeah. yeah. It's a big... Um, Convention, yeah, it was slash convention slash conference conference as because they were giving live talks and, and uh, a trade show, and stuff like yeah, that. like drones, a trade show, yeah, uh, drone, yeah. <laughs> heated topic, heated topic for me. I love it. I just love those drones in action. <laughs> but you know, uh, we got to go around and collect a bunch of pens, which is always a, a favorite of ours. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do have a little game, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it was good. We, I think we can go out there and say it that we just some new equipment. Um, we some, did, yeah, some new Sony cameras. Uh, it seemed to be more affordable to do it there than it was to do it anywhere else. Um, it actually enabled us to get actually because it was so cheap. The cost was so cheap that we were able to purchase an additional camera that we weren't going to. Yeah, instead of uh, six, we actually purchased seven cameras, which were pretty great. Um, yeah, we saved about like five hundred bucks yeah. because it was at the trade show that very day. We saved about five hundred a camera. So and uh, yeah, we got some new. 
cases for them. Cases? Uh, I've got my hands on some new LED lights. Which oh, on make camera. Shooting, yeah, some on camera lights that'll make it awesome to shoot at night or in yeah. a, at a dark event or something. Low lit like area yeah. where you can just like when you're, you're interviewing a person and you're just like, oh, hey, here you go. Like at uh, the veterans mm -hmm. uh, dinner, if you have a low, you know, you have an LED light on your light, on your, on your light. Well, it's like exhibit in your exhibit. If you have an LED light on your camera, you can just go up to people and it's nice what we call a fill light, F I L L. And it just kind of uh, makes someone you know, kind of stand yeah. up against the 2D background, which is video. And you know, the thing with lighting is you want a quick little lighting exercise. <laughs> just you know, basic three-point lighting or basic lighting is you have anything that has light cast upon it will become uh, will bounce towards the screen more because it has more detail and has you know it, it, it's differentiated by what we call luminance, which luminance is just a fancy term for lighting. Mm -hmm. And uh, video is measured in both two things really. Uh, chroma, and, uh, chroma and aluminums, color and light. So there you go. Yep. That's a quick lesson. Um, but also, yeah, we got three of those. Gaffer, two rolls. I'm holding them in my hands right now. Two <laughs> yeah, rolls of like gaffer brass tape. Knuckles, yeah. I know that's a hot ticket item everybody's excited about. Yeah, it is. Actually, weirdly enough, yeah, we, oh, uh, this past weekend, uh, Friday, the kids from the uh, Norcam Video Production Club covered oh, yeah. uh, Battle of Vans. I went there to help them set up a little bit after work. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't want to bring gaffer's tape because I know they would go crazy with it. Yeah. And so I used a little painter's tape and ga <laughs> and uh, not scotch, um, duct tape. Duct tape. Thank you. Okay. They didn't have a lot. They're like, here you go. I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. like because we needed, you know, for some stuff. But it's always that like scary moment where you're like, I'm gonna apply this to the surface that yeah. I don't know. This great, oh, yep. greatly glossed floor, uh -huh. and that's great for the duration of the show. Don't but when rip you go it up. Yeah. Pull it up. It takes a piece of the floor with it, so yeah, you got to be careful. That's what the gaffer's tape avoids. So it it does actually very well. So and like, where would you use gaffer's tape? Anyway, you could, you know, people if you needed to block out a a logo on something because you don't have the copyright to use it, you can just put a little piece of gaffer's tape. That's like the industry industry trick. Uh, but if you needed to attach like a a microphone to a speaker or something like that, you can do that anywhere. It's not going to leave a lasting like residue like a, a duct tape would, or it's not going to pull off the paint like it, anything else would on like a painted wall or. And it's more cloth. Yeah. I mean, it's strong because it's like a cloth it isn't that full yeah. on um, like crazy adhesive, but it works well on every like gaffer tape is like your Swiss Army knife yeah. for production. Just you have tape. Oh, gaff it! Like pretty much a, a thing you'll hear a lot. You know, just gaff it. Yeah. But um, it's but it's yeah. not. You can't go to. Joe Schmo's hardware and get no. it. It's a special type of tape, and it's expensive. It's, it's expensive. It's expensive. Yeah, uh, fifteen dollars a roll for yeah, this pretty hefty roll. Was it 15, fifteen or twelve? I feel like we oh, got it might have been 12. twelve. It might have been a little cheaper. Um, even fifteen isn't as bad, but yeah. twelve, yeah, twelve is the way to go. But uh, no, it was good. Uh, we got the new cameras. That's exciting. Oh, is that your phone? I think your phone's oh, messing phone again. Buzzing. Oh, oh mine does that to my left. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. You know, it was fun seeing the drones and talking about those in <laughs> yeah. the de different demonstrations. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I don't have... Everyone around here may know... Oh, yeah, I'm getting a loan interference still from that guy. So, <laughs> no, Further sorry, down sorry. the line. Uh, oh, cell phones. I, yeah, I, I, I still culture drones. About, uh, even the... I forget what demonstration he had. It, he was, like, from Canada or something like that. And we went over and looked at his projector. And we're like, wow, that's... Oh, yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, it's a great projector. And he's like, I don't even, I don't even sell this. This is, <laughs> this is my thing. This is for demonstration. We're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah. tell us more about this projector. Yeah, it looks awesome. It was a great projector. Like it just goes right up against the wall. Short yeah. throw kind of projector, but <laughs> and he was like, yeah, this is not. It was right in on in the front and showed how green we really were. Whoa, this is great. Uh, and that was funny. That was great. And that was on Thursday. That was on yeah, Thursday yeah. this past week. And we weren't able to do the podcast normally on uh, the Friday, Friday because we were setting up at the school community. Yeah. Or the Distance learning. Yeah, for the school committee, yeah. room, basically. Which, uh, which is a nice room, and our cameras, like we've been saying, our cameras are all set up there. It isn't our problem; isn't fixed yet. We trouble, uh, we were troubleshooting it again this past Friday, mm -hmm. and we think we think we might have narrowed it even more. We mm -hmm. thought, you know, it, it's very tough because sometimes you never know until you really get to that last bit. Yeah. It's like that stupid phrase that, that you know you find something. Oh, it's the last place you looked. Well, yeah. But uh, you have to go <laughs> well, down. Well, well, it keeps of course. looking after I found it. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> that guy, that one guy, or or lady. Oh, I don't want to be sexist, but um, yeah, it, uh, it it just eliminating every possibility. And we think it's um, oh, it's something we just need to take up with uh, our buddies who helped us put the rig together. Yeah. Which, um, but uh, hopefully that'll be done before our next uh, meeting from there. Yeah, yeah, it's just there's so many different 
possibilities and combinations of what an yeah. issue could be. And just because you check this problem over here this time, you got to go back down the line and recheck this and then check everything along the line. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a cluster mess sometimes, but... A cluster cuss, as um, you know. <laughs> they'll call it. But we're working out. I think we kind of finally narrowed it down to to what the, the real issue would probably be. But Yeah, we, we believe it's not... Uh, a certain a certain equipment, and we're like, oh, it might be this. So we'll see. We'll get it done. Yeah, hopefully yeah. within uh, now and the next get one. Resolved, yeah, you? no, that's it's just a matter of when. Yeah, that's all. Uh, yeah, and we actually have a board selectman meeting tonight because uh, we're doing this Monday, like I said before, at the top, uh, Monday the 18th. We're actually having a little uh, trouble with it right now, uh, and we're seeing where it goes. So it's I mean, a similar issue to the same yeah. thing we we're having on. Friday. So. It might be systematic. We don't know. We don't think so because yeah. we were able to go live two weeks ago yeah. in that very same place. But we'll, you know, we'll see what goes on. And we'll, we'll have to go. We're doing this podcast, and Rob is over at the INET hub at the high school, and, and then we're going to go back, mm -hmm. you know, within the hour to check it out because it's like in an hour and a half is the meeting. But you know, so while we're waiting here, we <laughs> decided we'll busy. do this. Always yes. trying to keep busy. There's, yeah, there's always something going on here. Uh, we had someone working on a website, working on, and another person. Editing their show this morning, Nick Face of Face the Facts. Actually, three episodes in a, a roughly crazy. two and a half weeks. Yeah, it was great. He actually had, I know this is going to be a soft spot for some of the North Reading uh, sports boosters or whatever, but he had the Reading uh, hockey, girls yeah, hockey yeah. team, varsity team. And uh, they won, I guess, the state uh, oh, championship. Yeah, yeah I think That's I think awesome. Division One. I'm not sure, though. Don't quote me on that, but. I know they won. My wife actually went to that game, too, because she teaches at Reading <laughs> High. So I'm, I'm branded a, <laughs> yeah. a warrior and a traitor. <laughs> Uh, by everyone in town, but uh, no, yeah, it was. Uh, it's pretty funny, uh, and they look great. They're actually online now. We just uploaded them, and mm -hmm. we'll have uh, those new episodes going on uh, the channel in a couple. But yeah, Jason, from your end, uh, government access. Uh, government, what's been going it's on? Pretty standard. It's funny. Like they'll go one or two weeks, and there won't be any of the new shows, and then all of them will hit me at once. So I'm expecting, you know, new RMLD meetings this week. Uh, what else is uh, in the fight? Consumer oh, affairs, all those come in like a big wave. So it's, you know, some weeks I get lucky, and then other weeks it's okay, quick, get them all compressed and get them up online. Yeah, sometimes it's a feast or famine. And, and we have our we have our Robert boss Rob coming in, and we're <laughs> just and as he slowly walks out. back out the door. Uh, <laughs> no, but we're also running against the clock, uh, having um, a meeting for ourselves. To uh, we have a weekly meeting ourselves that yep. we actually missed on Friday. Yeah, uh, for everyone on staff. So uh, we'll actually we'll cut this short. Yeah, yeah, and we'll we go, and uh, you know what? Uh, what else this week uh, would you like to throw what out is there? This week, um, I don't know. Just check the like us on Facebook. Yeah. Subscribe. Uh, we are on Twitter. Uh, all the social network. No, uh, social network. I know. I can't talk today either. <laughs> Instagram. Go. YouTube, of course, where you can find all the, the oh, meetings stuff. Which yeah, all the meetings and uh, I think we're at like four. To something 220 maybe or in that range in term, or, oh videos as videos yeah, 4,200 yeah. like 20 so maybe a little say, less what, was it two three weeks ago where i said we crossed the hundred thousand yeah views? viewer yeah. yeah which is amazing and it's like well let's try to get five thousand videos yeah. in, in this next couple months so and ever anyone who'd want to do a video may, we'll make one video we'll put it up and we'll make yeah, it yeah. make it a thing um yeah also it's memorial day weekend coming I, up oh yeah so we will so, be closed, closed memorial Monday. day but we'll do another podcast before then on oh, yeah, uh, sure. this Friday. Sure. But anything else happening that you know of this um, week? or Event-wise, uh, nothing comes to mind unless I'm missing something very blatant. No, now. nothing. I mean, town meeting's coming up. Yeah. But other than that, um, no other meetings that we're covering this week. Oh, there is something at the library tomorrow night. Oh, cool. It uh, escapes my mind. I could look it up right now briefly. And if anyone would like... Actually, we're always looking for volunteers as well. So if anyone is, um, is interested in covering anything or just learning how to you know, use the camera for anything, feel free to come down. I mean, we're, like I said, podca we're looking for podcasts to be on the podcast network, but if you want to be on and do some stuff uh, regarding, you know, video, we're, that's what we're here for. But I know there's something on Tuesday. Hold on, no, they don't. Oh, is wait, it yep. Glorious thing? It is not Glorious Thing. Oh. But, oh, she, yeah, Gloria Mastro is shooting a preparedness video for all elderly and anyone else who, you know, in case of an emergency, what to take with you mm -hmm. in an event of emergency where you have to leave your house. And it's very interesting. We're going to have um, Sergeant uh, Derek Howe and uh, Deputy Chief Galvin of the Fire Department, uh, both of the police and fire department, Howe of the 
police department and uh, Galvin of the fire department talk about, you know, what do you do in an emergency when you need to grab something, you know, just to get out of your house mm -hmm. pretty quickly. Always have something ready. Uh, but the library event tomorrow night, Tuesday, the 19th, mm -hmm. uh, program on the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum mm -hmm. heist featuring Stephen uh, Kirkjan. I, th I hope I'm saying that correctly. K-U-R-K-J-I-A-N. Kirkjan. Uh, Kirk uh, possibly Stephen Kershian, because uh, I think my wife's friend Helen Kershian, and that might be a daughter or something related. I don't oh. know. It's giving way too much info, but <laughs> it's uh, personal. <laughs> yeah, I know it really does. It never stirs away. But that's tomorrow night at the library, the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist, like that heist that happened. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe which is based, like that heist. I think is the um, basis for the Thomas Crown affair. Oh, that okay. movie, I think, uh, both versions, uh, one with Pierce Brosnan and the one in the '60s, I think. Uh, but yeah, no, that's uh, we'll have more coming up. And if if you want to contact us, you can contact us uh, yeah. nine seven eight six six four zero five zero one via phone or mm -hmm. uh, norcamjason at gmail dot com and phil dot healy dot norcam at gmail dot com, making it more complicated as we go. And you can find us on YouTube at the uh, the norcam the, one or yeah. search norcam. And uh, what are we on Twitter? Uh, Twitter. What's Twitter. Uh, it's just norcam on Twitter. Oh, and Instagram. Uh, norcam. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, just Facebook, look for Norcam. N O R C A M. And uh, we'll be there. And yeah, see you guys uh, later in the week or you know, whenever you want to come in. Let us know.